It's eating me up inside, but we ran our course, we pretended we're okay, now if we jump together at least we can swim far away from the wreck we made, then only for a minute, I want to change my mind, cause this just don't feel right to me, I want to raise your spirit. Change my state of mind. Please rise for the Pledge to the Flag. Good morning, Cedar Crest. It is Friday, October 12th. I'm Hannah Shirey. And I'm Nevaeh Whitman. Coming up, we have information on the new student IDs. Also, we have Eric with Walking with Laws. 
We'll be right back with all of this and all your school news. In class news, juniors and seniors, there will be a college and business fair on October 30th at the Lebanon Expo Center. For more information and to sign up, visit the counseling office as soon as possible, as space is limited. Seniors, if you apply to any branch of Penn State, you must have your SAT or ACT, ACT scores sent directly to Penn State from the testing agency. Your application will not be processed unless Penn State has your test scores. If you have questions, see your counselor. Freshmen may pick up their IDs during lunch periods in the cafeteria today. Any upperclassman who has not picked up their ID may do so today in the cafeteria during lunch periods and in room 413 during non-lunch periods. A reminder that all IDs are to be worn Monday. If you do not have your photo taken by Life Touch, you will not have an ID. Sophomores, Hobie is a leadership conference held in May at Shippensburg University. If you would like to learn more about being a leader in our school and in your life, please apply to attend. You will return from this conference with the skills and inspiration to lead change. You will interact with sophomores from across the state, meet state leaders, attend seminars, and have fun. Applications are in the counseling office. Deadline to apply is October 29th. In club news, students who have signed up to participate in the Pennsylvania Math League contests, the first contest of the year will be held during period one on Tuesday, October 16th in the cafeteria. Bring something to write with and your calculator. Also, let your teachers know that you will be missing class that period and to get your work from them ahead of time. Drama club members who have paid their dues should pick up des their dessert roll order form in room 608 now. You may pay dues before you can participate in the fundraiser. The deadline to join drama club is October 24th. The next meeting will be for members only. In other news, Kutztown University is offering a one-day hands-on design camp November 3rd. The camp introduces students to design as a career. This would be a great college visit experience for juniors. Stop in the counseling office for information. Students interested in nursing can attend Experience Nursing Day at Wilkes University on Friday, November 9th. For more information, check out the Opportunities Board in the 100 hallway. Register early, it fills up quickly. The ASVAB test will be offered on November 2nd in the LGI to current 10th, 11th, and 12th graders. Sign up in the Counseling Office. In school news, Open Art Studio will start after school on Wednesday, October 17th in the Pottery Room. All students are welcome to attend. You don't have to be in an art class to participate, as long as you work on some type of artwork or writing. Paper, paints, clay, and other supplies are available for you to use. Creative writers are welcome as well. The dates and locations are posted outside of all three art rooms. Please sign up on the roster outside of Mrs. Klein's room 307. Any students interested in politics and who want to get involved in the community, sign up to volunteer for the Pennsylvania Democrats this fall. For more information, talk to Alexis Steele or pick up a flyer in the counseling office. Seniors, juniors, and sophomores, college admission representatives are coming to Cedar Crest to meet with you to talk about their schools and what they have to offer and to also answer your questions. This is a great opportunity, so make sure you don't miss out. Sign up today in the College and Career Center desk in the library. Here are the upcoming college visits. Today, Cedar Crest College and University of Pittsburgh at Greensburg. Monday, University of Connecticut and Shippensburg University. Tuesday, Susquehanna University and Loyola University in Maryland. Wednesday, Lackawanna College. Thursday, Delaware Valley University and pa Point Park University. Friday, October 19th, Immaculata University. The deadline for the Falcon Foundation grants of up to $1,000 to participate is this Monday. The application is found online under the Community tab on the district website. There are new postings on the Jobs Available Board located under the Skylight area in the 100 hallway. Iron Valley Snow Tubing is hiring for the upcoming winter season and are looking to fill many positions for food and beverage and also for the Snow Tubing Hill. Manor, Manor Care in Lebanon is looking to hire a student for a dietary aid position. Dairy Queen East is also looking to hire. Check the board for more details. Next Monday, all students will start wearing their new student IDs. This is another step towards making the school a safer place of learning. 
With these new student IDs, teachers and staff will be able to easily identify those who are supposed to be in the school and those who are not with a simple check for an ID and lanyard. If you haven't already gotten your ID yet, you can get it today from the cafeteria during lunch periods or in room 413 after school if you don't have a lunch. There are multiple different types of lanyards that you can use to show off your Falcon Pride in the way that you want to. Make sure you get your IDs before Monday. Thanks guys. In sports news, the field hockey team ran over Ephrata 5-1 last night. Hannah Lewis scored three goals and Emma Holzman and Felicia Getz each added a goal. Maddie Abram and Holzman provided assists and keeper Katie Knapp made four saves. The girls volleyball team topped Conestoga Valley three games to two. Brooklyn Varner logged 45 assists, Jalen Davis and Nyella Bowie 14 kills, and Rachel Batra served up six aces and 19 assists. Nolan Hoover is the first golfer to make the regional tournament since 2005. I caught up with him in today's Walking with Waz. This week on Walking with Waz, we've got Nolan Hoover. So, Nolan, when did you start golfing? Um, right around when I was two. And then what got you into golfing? Was it your dad? Was it anyone? Or who was it? It was my dad. He introduced it to me at a young age. And then did you start golfing in tournaments early, or did you just play like for fun? Which was I started golfing in tournaments probably around the age of seven. And you play hockey, too. You play ice hockey. Does ice hockey help you golf, and does golf help you play ice hockey? Do they cross over? A little. The swing's kind of the same, but not really. And then... At golf tournaments or matches, how like what's the atmosphere like? Is it really competitive or is it more laid back and fun? Um, it's competitive. It's getting more and more competitive as you go on to regionals and states. So we'll see how it goes. And what are your hopes for this upcoming Monday for going to the regionals since first player since 2005 since Cedar Crest? Um, just keep the ball in play and make it to states. All right. Good luck. Hoover will compete on Monday at the Golden Oaks Golf Club in Fleetwood. Tonight, the football team is in action at home against Mannheim Township as they fight for a playoff spot. Game time is 7 p.m. in the stadium. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so it is also a pink out to raise awareness. It is not too late to consider joining the high school swim team. If interested, see Mrs. Jupamotz in the office or Mrs. Marina in room 318. That's all for your Weekly Waz, and back to Nimvea and the birthday girl, Hannah. Thanks, Waz. We have a last-minute announcement. A special happy birthday to the one and only Hannah Shirey. Thank you, Nimvea. <laughs> if you'd like to wish someone special a happy birthday, bring $1 to room 113. That's all for your morning announcements today. I'm Nevea Whitman. And I'm Hannah Shirey. Make it a great day, Cedar Crest.